Madam Speaker, our government is committed to the protection of our headwaters and species at risk. Healthy watersheds, sustainable resource development, and responsible recreational activity are not mutually exclusive. Planning for watershed health must always be a primary consideration. In making these complex decisions, we will take a thoughtful, measured, and respectful approach. We must also ensure First Nations have access for traditional land use and preserve constitutional treaty rights. Our government's action to protect the Castle Wildland and Provincial Park in southwestern Alberta embodies these goals. Water security is a common denominator we simply cannot ignore. As author and naturalist Kevin Van Teagum articulates, water does not come from the river, it comes to the river. He observes that a river is a product of its watershed. It is the landscape that produces the water, which in turn determines water quantity, quality, and its rate of discharge. The, uh, sorry, the con constituency of Banff Cochrane contains one of the most significant watersheds for Western Canada. The water this landscape produces supports nearly three million people, including agricultural and industrial users. <coughs> the landscape itself supports good local jobs through, through the tourism, television, and film industries. Clearly, we must make prudent and responsible land use decisions now to safeguard water security into the future. To accomplish this goal, we are designing a parks management and tourism strategy for southwestern Alberta. This will involve months of engagement with local communities, Albertans, land users, and First Nations. Broad consultation is necessary in order to get it right. I'm proud to be part of a government that is taking its responsibility to the environment seriously. Thank you.